Hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm Jay Scheidel, I was joined here in the booth by Phoenix and Sunflash Rune. Gentlemen, how are you tonight? Just dandy, how are you? Not too shabby. Watching a ton of acing races. Sunny, what's up? I am drowning under cat here, but otherwise... I'm <laughs> <good. laughs> oh, makes sense, makes sense. Well, we are here tonight to do a little bit of information about the Tournament of Champions bracket reveal and kind of get everyone on the same page of what's about to happen. So, before anything here, I've got a little bit of history, just a lot of stuff that we talked about, things that we kind of made, or how this all thing came to be. So, my voice is super loud. Of course it is. <laughs> let's, to say you're let's try that. Sharp. I went into uh, presenter mode instead of just laying back. <laughs> uh, I'm quiet because so, I leaned back, yes, but thank you for noticing me, Budge. I appreciate it. Did not mean to scare people out of nowhere. Whoops. Let me know if it gets better. But yeah, so this thing all began back in, I think it was early March or so. We were just going, what's a way that we can do to, like, showcase the champion showcase people who are at the top of their game this all started in the the leadership chat and then i think phoenix i can't remember if i like drug you into this or if you were talking with it or what do you have any recollection of it i think at one point you kind of mentioned i was like yes i've wanted to do that for a while now and it just all snowballed from there and <laughs> here we are yeah so if you kind of remember back at Winter Tournament, Ozlato and I talking about the OJ Hour, the, the, the same thing basically happened here. So I, I did go back to the time frame. From the time that we got the private planning channel, we had the idea figured out in about an hour. The hidden aspect of it figured out in about 90 minutes. And then by the next morning, we had a, uh, a document and layout already ready to go. So... It was a little bit ridiculous, a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a fire hose. <laughs> oh, a little bit too much fun here. But yeah, so we did. We got a lot of things ready to go. We ended up announcing the tournament and then spent a lot of time trying to just refine the seeds. So before we go on to everything here, I would like to put a giant thank you to everyone who reached out, who had information about, yeah, I remember playing that seed, this was here, this wasn't here. We went through so many different uh, iterations of these things, just thank you, thank you. I know they're not perfect, but see, we tried our best. It's our most faithful recreation that we can do. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Good. Looking through my notes here. See, I, I, I make notes and then forget what's going on. <laughs> you make notes and then you don't read them. <clears throat> I, I, I'm already through my first page and I didn't realize that already. But yeah, so <laughs> we had lots of people come out of the woodworks for this. So we had some veteran runners who have been retired or semi-retired come back. We had new champions, old champions galore. It's been great to see everyone. So before we get into the rest of it, the only thing I have to say is I'm sorry for ones and eights. You know, sorry for ones and eights, I guess. Don't, don't let him lie to you. He's not sorry about anything with the ones and eights. I have, no. uh, I have been on the far side of town and I've heard the cackling coming through. All right, don't let him lie to you, people. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> but to a little bit of actual, like, uh, player two is super soft, really. Sunny setup. What? Set up. You're soft. I'm, I'm no, putting you up now. Up. <laughs> we do this live. Come on. <laughs> hey, but again, a little bit of just housekeeping stuff before we get started with the reveal and more details here. You should have been reached out today by a DM with either your uh, hero and some information being told i'm sorry that you did not make it into the uh brackets so if you participated in it if you submitted all three asyncs or if you submitted three of them and did not hear back from me please make sure to dm me by the end of the stream that way i can get things taken care of and get it all fixed up before we officially kick this thing off but unless you two have something to go let's get this thing going here let's do it 
All right. Well, let's click on Canva here, and here we go. So, a couple of little things here before we get going. Put the information. When in doubt, we are doing the same things that you would do for a normal race. So, we'll get pinged about 15 minutes beforehand, be in the race room, make sure that like you're ready to go. 10 minute delay, everything is going to be pretty normal for this. With the main exception of you will not receive a direct ping on the Discord. Since we're doing this as a hidden, yep, since we're doing this as a hidden, we're not going to ping, oh yeah, hey, this is your race. You need to know roughly when you're going to be there. So please, please, please to make sure that you know what time you're going and that you are paying attention at that time. Some of the changes to be expecting. You will get your time, or you need to send me your time slots as soon as you can. As soon as you kind of know just roughly, hey, I am able to do these times or these dates, let me know. We'll obviously work out exact details whenever we're going back and forth, but give me kind of a rough schedule. That way, whenever your matches up, we can go, hey, your opponent can race at these times. Are you free? Are you free at these times? So I will be one of the go-betweens, and then Sunflash and then Ozlato also will be go-betweens because the other person in this chat here, spoiler alert, can't get to know what's going on. <laughs> I expected a, a, a response to that. Who, me? Uh, Ooh, that's in chat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the response nice. is in chat. <laughs> All right. Who reads chat? It's Twitch chat. Come on. <laughs> okay. So a little bit more uh, stuff here. We will send you a stream key for Final Fantasy Randomizer 2, 3, 4, or 8. Probably an hour or so before you guys will run, maybe a little bit before that, depending on what's going on. That stream key will be active for just your race. So whenever your race is finished, we'll go ahead, we'll reset that key, we'll give it to someone else. So, and we're just going to kind of give them out at random. Two and three will be versus each other, four and eight will be versus each other. Just because not eight does not mean it's not a stream. please go ahead and have yourself muted. We'll do the race stuff as it is. Your microphone broke up really bad on that one, bud. I muttered. No, no bad muttering. language on Ocho. No bad language on Ocho. <laughs> okay. The last few things here. You will stream with your hero or heroine background and your game and timer only. If you need help getting your stream set up, I'm going to do a little bit of this afterwards here. If you need to hide your timer behind the stream layout so that only the main time is showing, feel free here. We just need it to confirm times and to make sure that you are synced up with your opponent for any restreams. And then everyone who made it today or tonight needs to check on their race time account. You are provided a, an alternate account and login information to it. Please, please, please make sure it's working. I already found one that I skipped over, so make sure it's there so I can get that all taken care of. Just so that you're aware, the stream requirement for race time will be overridden for this tournament. So you will not be linking your Twitch account to it. This also means that you're, if you're using a live split, you will not be able to use the countdown timer for live split. So just make sure that those two are figured out and that you, you realize that that's going to be happening. And make sure that you take away anything that makes you notable. If you use any fun percent flags, if you use any different sprites or music, make sure that you're ready to go there. And name your characters after the classes, please. Oh, my mic is going in and out again. Yes? Yeah, it's almost like you're, it thinks you're too loud, but you're not. Okay. We'll try that. I'll turn myself back up a little bit and we'll see. We'll try that. No multi-instrumentalist or dyslexic friendly. No, sorry. We're trying to keep this as hidden as possible. It's what we have to do to make sure it works. Everyone's got to be boring and the same. <laughs> that way we can have fun with the actual trick of... Uh, figuring out who is whom well you mm -hmm. guys can't i don't get to because i already know but hey <laughs> and try to name the characters after the classes obviously if you have two red mages red m1 red m2 whatever you want just make them as generic as possible 
keep your identities hidden until the final reveal stream. So just because you may follow the tournament, please do not go ahead and say who you are. Wait until the very, very end. That way we can keep it all hidden. We don't want to get to the last match and know, well, these are the only two left. We obviously know it's them. Please go ahead and keep it all the way to the end. And have fun. Read over everything on the wiki. I sent you an additional information document. Check it all out. Let me know if you have any questions. But now for the fun. Who made it to the tournament? So this is where I'm going to let you guys, like, jump in if you know anything about these. I've got some, like, where they were from, where the champion all came from, some information about each of these participants. Here we go. The first one up is Ale. I, when I started looking at how many times that uh, they were a champion, I think I counted up to eight different ones. Chaos Trials, Lefanian Ladder, Fall League, Fall League, Iron Goal, Iron Goal Heavy Metal, Iron Goal Double Damp oh, Double Dragon. Like, oh my. Well, while his mic died out, uh, I believe he was saying that uh, Ale's a champion and the uh, patron god of uh, FFR8, the Ocho, because I believe it's about how many times they've been a champion. Yes. Yes. Hey! hey. Next up, Budge Mono. Let's see, Budge 2024 Platy Party and the 2022 Winter Duckling Derby. Wow. <laughs> we had Dark Moon make it, our resident uh, artist here. Where Greg! Is Greg! <laughs> Part of the FFR LADX AP tournament. Friday, 2023 Platy Party and an Iron Gold Double Dragon Champion. Goats Pirate, Iron Gold Champion four times. Our next one is a. Oh, yeah. 2019 Duckling Derby and an Iron Gold Champion. Our Iron next one here. Popular. Oh, Iron Gold is very popular. We had one of our champions want to remain anonymous throughout the entire thing. So, a door pseudonym. Here's one of the champions that you get no more details about. Good luck figuring out who it is. They preferred to keep it a mystery the entire time. Good luck. All secret all the time. All secrets all the time. Maddie. Maddie going to the FFR LADX AP tournament, making her way through the rest of the seeds here into the Tournament of Champions. Um, we, we have a, a, a fellow. Uh, that is. Can we just skip it. this one? We just skip this one. We're yeah, good. We he didn't do anything that. important. Yeah, the, it's terrible. Fine. The, terrible. The one that I, that I sent the rude question going, what did you win again? So rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rude. <laughs> yes, bud, for what anyone in. So, the final champion. We then have Pickles and Beer. Another one with a lot of credit to their name. We have the 2024 Winter Tournament, the 2023 Fall League Team, the 2023 Speed Gaming Live Online Champion, the 2023 Marathon Bingo, 2022 Fall League Team, the 2022 Dab, and Iron Gold Champion. We have Roger McBain. Roger was the 2024 Duckling Derby. Oh, that's why I didn't recognize him. Okay. Ah, next up we have Rubes Triple Zero. Rubes was the 2021 Randomania Tournament of Hope and Iron Gold Champion times two. We then have Sonny. I know Sonny's one more than what I could find here, but we have the FFR Time Spinner AP Tourney. Hey! Don't know who that is. Moving on. <laughs> so, Link a lot. 2022 Platy Party and the 2020 Summer Co op. Sirenus, Iron Gold Hardcore Champion. And last but definitely not least, Wu Bear, 
2024 Bingo, Lithuanian Ladder, 2022 Duckling Derby, and of course, Iron Goal. So here are your top champions. These are in no particular order. These are not in seated order. We are just going alphabetical to keep things all mixed up here. <laughs> I'm surrounded by people actually won things. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but like we said, this is going to become a hidden tournament. So in just a click of the button, everyone's going to receive a pseudonym. These are, again, not replacing who they are. So just because a name pops up over A or pops up over Phoenix, that's not who they are. This is all randomized. This is all traded around. So from now on, they will all be known as Jack, Maria, Munith, Lydia, Bartz, Celis, Cloud, Renoa, Zendane, Yuna, Van, Lightning, Noctu Noctuus, Clive, Phoebe, and Marley. And I like know about we, half of those. I really need to go read up on my FF art, on my FF game names now. Hmm. Wait, well, uh, you, you want to check the last two? Where are they from? Why are you asking me? You're as, <laughs> as you know, I have no idea. So <laughs> we we were trying to find champions to add into here because. Uh, uh, just the nature of the Final Fantasy games, two of them are MMOs. So they don't exactly have a main character in the traditional sense. So we decided to pull in Mystic Quest and Chrono Trigger to round out our 16. Oh, that's Chrono Trigger. And, okay, okay, yeah, all right. I know that one now that you said, okay, yeah. See, I'm not completely useless. Only mostly useless. Yes, uh, as I was pointing out, uh, some of the rest of my dyslexia also and can't spell. You can't? Well, no. that's sad for you. Ron and uh, Noctis. <laughs> Noctis. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Ale. Thank you, That that's right. <laughs> Ale, well, this is why Ale's in the tournament and I'm not. They come up with the good reasons on the fly, just like that. Bingo. Sign <laughs> of a champion, folks. <laughs> But now for the moment you've all wanted to know. Everyone knows who they are in the championship. You now know who this is. Let's see what the actual bracket is. So, Lightning versus Phoebe. Marley versus Clive. Zidane versus Bartz. Renoa versus Cloud. Vaughn versus Lunith. Celis versus Rydia. Yuna versus Maria, and Jack versus Noctus. Just so that everyone knows, the seeding is accurate. But this is not one, this is not 16. They have been mixed up in the quadrants to make sure that you don't know who is seeded what. But it is still 1 versus 16, 2 versus 15, and etc. So all the seeding is still accurate, just this order is not in the traditional layout. We're doing some secret magic in the background to, again, keep things hidden. Yeah. Almost like that's the whole point. We did confirm that the ending will still end up, so they'll all still end up facing each other in the correct ways throughout all here. That's writing again. Hey, hey. And here are your brackets. Here are your time. Our first round of brackets needs to be done in the next few days. So it's August 5th through 8th. Please, please, please try to get as soon as you can scheduled. Let me know what times you have available. We'll be working throughout the night and tomorrow morning to make sure we can get everything scheduled from there. The round of 8 will be August 9th through 11th. The round of 4 will be the 12th through the 14th. And our finals will be the 15th through the 17th. These are best of three games. So if you can try to schedule two at a time, that would be much appreciated. But I fully understand schedules work out. If we need to get one at a time, that's perfectly fine. Well then, you two. I know I did most of the heavy talking here. But what do well, you think? I am going to throw you under the bus a little bit and point uh -oh. out that when people go to... Uh, get a hold of everyone, get a hold of you, me, or Oswaldo for uh, 
I guess you all is level and I have English is done. Uh, whenever they go to schedule things, um, I know my DMs are almost always available and hitting me within, mm -hmm. as long as I'm not asleep, within 30 minutes. I know Jay tends to be kind of busy during the middle of school week. So yes. you might get a, if something comes up like, hey, suddenly I need to reschedule, it's, you know, what I thought I was going to be available is no longer available. And Jay or Oslado that you've been talking to doesn't respond. Go ahead mm -hmm. and hit me. We're going to have a shared document to make sure that we are all on the same page on where everything is. Right. <laughs> well, Phoenix, as a uh, participant, what are your thoughts? You know, even though I'm going to be in this for probably all about two days, I'm uh, really looking forward to this. It's something very new that we've never done before. Um, I'm really interested to see how this turns out. I really hope everybody else is interested in this, even the folks that uh, that aren't uh, involved in this. I'm hoping this is going to make for some must-watch TV, um, and hopefully this will be an event that we uh, we keep doing every, maybe if not every year, every couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, I really hope the uptake is uh, is here for it. Yeah, if this goes well, I think the plan is every, every couple of years. That way we can get a couple new champions in, kind of get it all figured out. But we got to get to the first one first. Well, that's the easy part. I'm not the one playing, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got to ceremoniously kick someone out of the planning committee here in a second. <laughs> and so... The hostile takeover of all the FFR channels begins. Oh, yeah. So, just so that everyone knows what's going to go on now, I'm going to gratefully move the uh, Champions participant role from every member. That way, we start to obfuscate everyone again, kind of lose who everyone is. Just out of all clarity, Phoenix is being removed from the planning channel, so that Sally, you don't get to know what's going on. And we've got the we've got the word from Dark Moon that it will be muted the entire time. So, we should be good to go and get this thing kicked off the ground. It's going to be a good time. But, oh yeah, yeah, they have not seen the final scores. They don't know what any of the ranking is. I did that all after we banished them. <laughs> but he says we been... as if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> the tournament champion champions. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to stick around for a few minutes after this. To show anyone who is interested or who needs to know how to set up a, a different profile and a different scene in OBS. One of the things I've been asked is how do you make this easy to transition between the two different profiles that you might be using. So we're going to kind of cut it right here. If you are a tournament participant and want to stick around for just a few moments, I'll show you to the best of my ability what I can. But other than that, we're going to call that good for the reveal today. Do the two of you have any final thoughts? I have many thoughts, and most of them are just, this is going to be a blast to watch. Even though I already know who's who, it's still going to be very entertaining. <laughs> oh. Phoenix, if, I if only because I get to sit on the sidelines and read all the chat oh. and everyone going, hey, I think this person, you know, this hero is this person. No, 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 they did this. If they picked they picked a red mage instead of a black I mage. Am, they're going to be this is going to be a blast. I'm ready. I'm so waiting for Get that. Those conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh, the meta gaming for the audience is going to be awesome. Oh, we'll it's going to be a blast. Few days when I'm done. We will also have <laughs> predictions open up here in just a little bit. So if you want to get on to challenge and put your predictions in, feel free. I'll post that in the uh, main room in a few moments. But. I am if, going to dip out. I have a shake or two on the way, I believe. So I'm going to go meet them at the door. I'll very, very nice. Later. Have fun, everyone. <laughs> and I'm Good night, everyone. Yeah, see you guys. I'm going to switch this over here if anyone wants to stick around. Here is how you set up the different profiles and scene collections. <laughs>
best laid plans of mice and men, right? It all back now. Cool. I got it set up for my test one. I didn't set it up for the real one. Whoops. Um, hey, you didn't see anything. We're going to delete this and try it again. <clears throat> you are trying to set yourself up a new profile. Up here to profiles. You will click new. Make yourself whatever name you want on it and make sure that the auto configuration wizard is good, ready to go. You want to optimize it for streaming, leave everything here the way you normally do. Put yourself down to 720, 30 frames per second, and here is where you'll be able to put in the new stream key that you've gotten. You might be used to just going ahead and connecting through your account. Do not use that one. Use your stream key. You can also, in the future, if you need to, come in here, obviously go to stream, and then you can change your stream key here as you need. So if you are on FF1 one time, and you go to FF3 the next time, you've got that ability to be able to switch around as you need. This is also where you can go ahead and set it up as a delay, and the profile will remember that this is a delay. So as you can see under mine, I have mine set up to my personal, and then with the delay, so I don't have to go in there and fiddle with it every time that we're doing it. Just go, oh, hey, oh, hey, here. <laughs> Sorry, Pickles. You want it to be 720 and 30 frames per second. Okay, from here, you can go then to your profile or to your scene collection. Here's where then you can create one for just this event. That way, hey, I want to have one that's just going to be for the Tournament of Champions. So I can create one. I can go in here to TOC, create myself a brand new one, not have to worry about any of the other things that's going on. I can then come in here, add a new image. I can go down here. I can go to my desktop. I can go to my TOC backgrounds. I can add in Jack. We'll transform, fit to screen, and now I'm ready to go for whatever stream I want. You can then go crop like normal. If you need to put live split in and just hide it so that only it's showing here, you'll be ready to go. These will be saved so that if you go back to your normal one, I can just go back to my personal stream. Here's what I normally stream as, probably good. It's time for the Tournament of Champions. Click on Tournament of Champions, go to the Tournament of Champions profile, and it's all good to go. <laughs> no much. I just learned it over the years. This is not even close to half. But that's a basic overview. If you have any more questions, if you want to know what's going on with it, feel free to send me a DM. I'll help you out as much as I can. I don't mind jumping onto Discord, running you through it, or helping you out in any way that you need to. I'm also free to jump in to a direct message or something so that people don't know who you are if necessary. But I'm going to check chat for just one minute. Are there any other questions about how to run this? No, no, I am not Jack. I should have grabbed the Celeste one. It's more fun. If you can add a timer, if that would be preferable, that way you can make sure everyone is synced up. I understand it not going in to race time is a little bit of a fail, but that's all due to the fact that we're not uh, streaming due to your own Twitch. So please, please, please jump onto live split, throw it in there really quick, and just call it good. Let's see. You're welcome to have your tracker and stuff in the background, just do not have it showing on stream. Anything else? Wait a few seconds. Yeah. What Darkman's saying, we need it there to make sure we can sync up the streams if there's a discrepancy or if there's a really, really close timing, 
just so that we're able to double check things. You're good, Darkman. Yes, players should contact myself, Sun Flash, or Oslato. We'll be talking to each other. We've already got a group message going, and we'll figure out what times work best for you guys, and then with you to confirm it. So if you can say, here's my time, my preference is this one, we'll reach out to everyone and call it good. I'll give it another few seconds just to make sure, and then we'll get ready to call it a night. Alrighty. Well, if you guys need anything else, feel free to let me know. Send me a DM, let me know whatever you need. I'm more than happy to help you out throughout all of it. The sun kind of said I'm a little bit busy, mostly in the afternoons for a few hours, but I'm reachable by DM, and then you can always DM that uh, Sunny or Oslato. They'll help you guys out as well. However, that's going to be it for tonight. So until we see you in the tournament, good luck, run hard, bye.